Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you happen to see this, I would like to offer the mid-November relationship and love reading for the elemental energy of water. If you are not sure what your elemental alignment is, uh, water covers the zodiac signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So if you're a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that will this reading is going to work for you. Uh, if you're interested as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac, you can check out. There's a video I link in the description. Um, and if you've never had your charts read, it's kind of a fun thing. Um, and this is not an affiliated link or anything like that. But there is a natal chart linked in the description. It gives you your um, chart with the 12 houses. And then it goes through about 15, 10 to 20 pages, depending on <laughs> what's all there explaining what that is the there's a section of the for the elements there's also a section that talks about your generation and kind of this, what the energy is for that time period so it's a really cool resource i use mine quite frequently so if you're interested you can check that out um, also i read intuitively but with the chakra deck that i use i like to read from the book as well because there's a lot of information there so we'll go with that and if you're interested in the decks or um, that I'm using, they're linked in the description. Anyway, <laughs> um, with that being said, we'll get started. And I read for the singles first, and then I'll read for the couples. And we look at the chakra energy. Sorry, as I was shuffling, the card literally flew out of the deck. So we're going to go with that one. <laughs> um, we look at the chakra energy kind of checking out where in the system the energy is more focused for either the couples or for the singles and then we pull some tarot cards to give us a little more detail about what that card means so the card that literally left out of the deck for our water singles is number 28 with ignorance and there is a deer or some kind of critter looking back over his shoulder in the middle of the card with ignorance, I'm hearing that there is some illusions going on here, like you are, you're purposely not seeing the forest for the trees. You're looking at something from a different perspective than what it really is. Um, <laughs> water has a nasty little habit, more so than any of the other signs where they want to live more in their fantasy world, however that actually revolves, because I know a few Scorpios were there, um, their own little world is actually pretty hostile <laughs> but that's what I'm getting with this one is it's kind of like there you know that this is the direction you're going but you keep looking over your shoulder because in the middle of the card you can see that this guy right here he's looking backwards almost like nope if I don't see it it doesn't affect me and that's kind of the energy I'm getting here so let's take a peek at what chakra this is in and what information the book has to say we're in the heart chakra so this is definitely applying to relationships for our singles uh, and we'll take a peek here um, it is the black antelope that's this creature right there the antelope carries yang energy the seed sound for the element of air on its back it symbolizes the quest for the heart to remove inner blocks and seek purity and truth it has its head turned almost backwards as if it doesn't have the information it needs to know what to do next listen run relax its ignorance is situational and it points to a need to know more to survive or be effective so there is this energy of again you're not quite seeing something but it's not because there's part of it is because you're choosing not to but the other part is you're making that choice because you don't know enough about the situation and that's what the book is starting to bring forward your keywords are ignorance folly lack of knowledge purgatory needing to reframe an attitude that blocks wisdom false concepts, clinging to what isn't real, discovery, and being timid. So, water singles. There's, <laughs> there's, first of all, bringing up, this is a time to really start to educate yourself, open your eyes, and there's also this energy of stepping forward that is being brought up. Uh, I'm seeing Archangel Michael standing there with his flaming sword being like, you need to be bold! <laughs> so, <laughs> there could be this energy of, being in the shadows right now is probably not the best option even 
water when it's pushed turns into white caps and becomes quite destructive so you need to, they don't want you to be destructive but they want you to be a bit more attention seeking almost not like being the center of attention but put yourself out there a little bit more is what I'm hearing and the ignorance is just simply the fact that you don't know enough about the situation so you're choosing to turn away from it and what I'm getting is that is not the best course of action right now it doesn't mean that you're going to uh, go out on the first date and find somebody or the first night or whatever but what it's really bringing forward is being timid right now or being antisocial especially with the holidays coming around that is not going to serve our water family to its best it's gonna be better to get out of the bubble push those boundaries just a little bit you don't have to go all out but definitely get things moving so your first tarot is the two of autumn bring fun into everything you do juggling multiple priorities or jobs an exceptional talent excuse me for multitasking so you're able in this energy to be able to do a lot of different things so you could be actually getting into work more you could be stepping into a higher position and that could be catching people's attention it could be the energy of you're going out with a different group of friends and it could be that you're doing multiple different things uh, tis the season of Thanksgiving Christmas parties Christmas itself Yule all these other things going on New Year's we're getting into that season where pick a night there's something going on and what this is saying is do your day job do your thing for work but don't forget you have a personal life water singles and your personal life could change water single to water couple so this is a good time to just kind of see what happens it's not saying go out there and I am looking for this person it's saying go out and explore a little bit you have the ability to multitask between day and night your like day job nightlife type thing but it's also saying don't go into things super serious this next little pit. Bring fun into it. I mean, the fairy on here, she's dancing, she's carrying on, she's doing her thing. So find reasons to just enjoy what it is that you're going to do. Enjoy the process and the journey. It's not so much about the destination on this one is what I'm hearing. Your second card is the King of Spring, innovative, inspiring, wise, and theatrical. That could be fun. <laughs> A financial windfall, your leadership skills are needed, an unexpected supporter for your cause. You're going to have an awesome either wingman or wing girl going on with this, but it's also because you're choosing to go out. You're choosing to put yourself out there. And the energy that's coming up with this, the King of Spring is all about doing something a little bit different. So if you've had this very specific way, we go to... My friends and I, we go to this one particular restaurant, we go to this one particular nightclub, we go to this one particular bar, but that's what we do. Okay, why not try the bar down the street? Why not go to that other nightclub? There's a new restaurant that just opened up. Hey, there's a um, art gallery that's doing a ex or not expose, <laughs> an open night where you can go in without having to, you know, no fees attached. There could be a library book signing or an author reading doing something different could be enough to shake up your life maybe not in big ways but enough to change things a little bit is what I'm hearing the king of spring is like everything that you've been doing is fine but if you want to shake things up you want to improve it means something has to change there has to be an altered aspect of this and that could be part of that breaking down of the ignorance aspect where you're not you're not purposely putting blinders on to not look at the situation that's weird they're saying if you're feeling lonely right now if you're feeling kind of holidays are rough which they are find a friend group do a friendsgiving instead of a thanksgiving if there's something going on where you're not quite comfortable doing things with your family then find a friends group where it's like a couple of people a handful of people and do that instead you there's no hard and fast rule that says you have to do certain things but that's what I'm hearing is even if you're feeling a little bit like or you're feeling some body conscious issues well I'm, I'm overweight or I'm too skinny or I'm too fill in the blank um, what I'm hearing is that's everybody so find a reason to not notice this so much because this is temporary like this thing that we walk around in it's here for 50 to 70 80 90 years and then you move back into your spirit body and you're like 
what was that all about? <laughs> so this stuff is temporary, don't worry about that so much. And they're saying if things are really not comfortable in that aspect, water singles, then find another way to shift things up a little bit. The King of Spring is all about new ideas, new aspirations, and new experimentation. So it's definitely a time to look at things from the uh, an alternative way. So let's hop over to the, sorry, got to get all the cards properly shuffled and recut for the next group. Um, our water couples here. And let's see what the cards have in store for water couples. When I say water couples, it could be the person watching this is the water sign, or it could be for your partner who's the water sign. Um, and uh, it, those, uh, excuse me, no signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So water couples, the energy of the chakra energy is number 39 with detachment. Just from here, it's saying to separate and look at things from the higher perspective, not separate and isolate, because that's not even what the, um, I'm not sure which Buddha this is, but this is not what the Buddha is doing. You notice the water is all around. That is the world itself. He's not isolating. He's observing from a higher perspective. And there are little flames floating in his, these two hands. And there's some, what is that? Looks like there's golden balls in the top. But he's not looking at things from a perspective of, this is how it always has been. This is how it always has to be. He's looking at it from a detached state and observing what's going on. So that's the energy I'm getting Let's see what chakra or the chakra we are in and what does the book have to say so we are in the third eye chakra so this is definitely looking at things from the broader perspective and following your intuition and we have the deity is actually Shiva not Buddha sorry um, Shiva is an incarnation of old Rudra Shiva and is linked with the destruction and death out of which new forms can be born in the cycle of creation, preservation, and destruction. Here we see the young Shiva, so this is a youth, um, lord of the yogis, sitting in deep meditation in the middle of a river high in the mountains. He expresses ultimate detachment from the cascading waterfall of sensory attachment and demonstrates our capacity to learn, to let go, and detach from our desires, hopes, and fears. So, let's see what our key words are here. Whoop, there we go. Uh, key words, non-attachment, accepting life in the now, not being attached to the outcome, performing austerities, enjoying situations without expectations. Water couples. When you go out, you're going out because you want to go out and you want to have fun. You're not going out because of a sense of duty. You're not going out because of a sense of discipline. This card is really saying, quit focusing on all of other people's expectations of you. You have a unique relationship, whether you are two dudes, two chicks, um, male, female, does not matter. Your relationship is between you and your partner. The rest of the world, they're out there. And you, they're, what they're saying is, don't put so much effort on that. Detach from their opinions. Especially Thanksgiving, like I said, can be a, a holidays in general, can be a little bit rough for people. So definitely don't internalize anything you're hearing or that people are saying. It's not worth the drama. And with this detachment card, with especially dealing with Shiva, Shiva is an exceptionally powerful, powerful deity. When you have this energy coming forward, what it's saying is bring your attention in, bring it back into this body, bring it here to this now. And when you come into the now moment, you can look at the outside and be like, oh, that's why that's happening. Oh, that person's having issues. They're having struggles of their own, not issues. They're having struggles of their own. So I'm going to allow them to have their space. I'm not going to take it personally because this is them trying to project their stuff onto me. With, if someone does happen to send it your direction, check what it is. And that's where the meditation aspect comes in and detachment. When you can meditate, separate the outside from the inside. When so, you have, or you're, excuse me, when you're feeling an emotion, you can look at it and be like, is this mine? 
And if the answer is no, then you can release it back because it's no longer necessary for you to carry that. If it is yours, then you can examine and see why this is here. And when I say inside, inside the relationship, it could be inside you personally too, but definitely look at things when they come up emotionally and find out if it's actually yours, your partner's, the couple aspect, or if it's an outside influence. And then if it is outside, send it back. Detach from the negativity. It's so very much stay focused on the now. If there's shadow stuff that comes up, sort through it, figure out what's going on, and then convert it into the light. All of our shadows are things that we've repressed because we weren't ready to deal with them. So let's take a peek at our tarot messages here. I set the deck down before I was done shuffling, so that's <laughs> how, I, <laughs> how we're rolling today. So your first card is number five with unity. So these are major arcana and this is a huge life, life lesson type energy. Do the right thing for the right reasons. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see what works for you as a couple. A spiritually minded community. Sometimes finding those new worlds, those new connections happen in the weirdest places. You might be at a church function. You might be invited to go to a healing conference. You might be invited to um, a Wiccan open circle. Those things can be really fun when you start really looking at them from a spiritual perspective, but you're not doing things this next time period out of requirement. You're not doing things out of expectations. That's doing things for the wrong reasons. They may be good things to do, but if that's the reason you're doing it or because someone expects you to do it or if someone is telling you you have to, that's not really living in the now and that's not being the person who's in control of their future. So when this card shows up, it's always a reminder to say, do the things that are right for you. Do the things that bring you joy. If you feel guilt or shame about doing something or you're like, I have to go do this, I don't want to, find, look into that inside and find out why that energy is coming forward because there's a good chance that there's a reason you don't want to go do this. Is it a past issue that's coming forward? Or is it there's someone in that group that you're going into that you, you know is going to say something or trigger you, in which case, maybe it's not a good idea to go to that situation. <laughs> uh, and that's where you get into this more um, living in the now moment and trusting your intuition more. And when I say you, we're also talking about you and your partner. So if your partner's like, oh, I have no issues, let's go. And you're just kind of like, ah, that might be a time for your partner to go enjoy themselves and you to go do something else. And that is perfectly acceptable. So uh, your second card is the Ace of Summer. Open your heart to love the beginning of new intimate relationships or the rebirth of a current one. And I'm getting right off the bat, this is a time to take your relationship to a deeper state, whether spiritually, mentally, really bonding with your partner through this holiday season the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies water couples you're getting a lot of um, direction towards the spiritual so if you have not been as deep into the spiritual world hold this up a little more as you used to be this could be a good time to recheck in on that spiritual aspect and i'm also hearing with the ace of summer the spring, all the new stuff, it may have worn off just a little bit. Um, so this could be for couples who've been in together for more than you know seven or eight years. This is saying reconnecting with your partner, taking that emotional level to a much deeper state is going to be amazing. And it could be doing a little bit more spontaneous things, a little bit more of getting back into that time when you guys were dating, that aspect of surprising each other, bringing uh, flowers or showing up and you know dressed up and all of this stuff to take them out for dinner on a surprise night be like oh i'll be there in 10 minutes or 30 minutes depending on <laughs> the situation um i'll be there to pick you up we're going out to dinner well what's the occasion we're going on a date that's the occasion i'll be there to pick you up in 30 minutes so things like that just to kind of add a little bit more spice back to things and they're really wanting to focus on this spontaneity and doing the things that you did when you were courting that is so important to how you got to be in the relationship in the first place. 
but what they're really wanting you to say do is detach use your intuition your third eye energy to detach from the outside do the things that feed you as a couple and the soul of each person building that up because you're developing that unity because there's new energies coming in you've got some new focuses starting to grow so definitely enjoy the next little bit do the things that enliven your souls and fall in love again with your partner with that i will let you guys go have a great rest of your month stay safe if you are traveling especially for the holidays and i will see you in the next video